The preservation of the tipped minimum wage system has long lasting effects on worsening economic outcomes for workers of color today. It shouldn't be surprising that it is just another system sharing its roots in the le legacy of slavery. In the post Civil War United States, many black workers were concentrated in the hospitality industry and designed to preserve socioeconomic subordination. They were denied base wages and instead had to work for tips. This tipping model wasn't changed by the Fair Labor Standard Act, but we have an opportunity to address this historic discrimination through the Race uh, Wage Act. My state of Minnesota has already taken the necessary steps to establish a fair wage for all, but it's also one of the only few states that have addressed the tipped, wage, tipped minimum wage largely due to opposition from the restaurant industry. Ms. Dixon, can you respond to some of the concerns over the phase out of the tipped minimum wage hurting profitability and surging labor costs for local restaurants? Absolutely. Tipped, the tip wage has been $2.13 since 1991, and that's unconscionable. And we're not talking about phasing it out overnight. We're talking about phasing it out over time. And as I said in my testimony, um, the advocates are open to compromise on that phase out. We know that seven states have already done this, so it's possible um, and it's much better for workers. So we're not advocating for getting rid of tips, but we want tips plus the minimum wage um, like in those states. Um, and we really don't want employers to continue to get this subsidy for their payroll costs, as you mentioned. And why would you, uh, uh, why, do, why have restaurant workers in Minnesota not lost their tipped income or their lost, uh, or their jobs due to this, this change? The amount that employers have to increase their menu price is very small. And so if we're talking about a phased in increase over time, we're talking about very small increases. Um, there was a study in one of the one fair wage areas that looked at an increase in wages of about 25% and the menu price had to go up by a dollar and 10 cents. So it's really overblown um, what folks are saying about increasing menu cost. Really appreciate that overblown uh, is is something that we should we should highlight uh, because a lot of these policies that are being um, pushed by by Republicans is fear based and they're not based in in reality um, because some of us live in some of these states where progress has been made and have not suffered the crazy consequences that the Republicans like to tell the American people that they will suffer. So really do appreciate uh, your input in that.